Welcome everybody, we are starting into our ESO housing hike. This is casually touring player houses in the Elder Scrolls Online, seeing the cool things you can do with the houses, with the furnishings, and with a little bit of creativity and design, you can do amazing things, infinite possibilities. I'm J.R. Ellis, I'll be your tour guide as we visit, visit a bunch of homes right now on the PCEU server. This is something I stream live each week at twitch.tv slash J.R. Ellis. It's open for both PCNA and PCEU. We're going to do EU homes right now. And if you ever would like your home to be included in this, you can send me a mail in-game. Same spelling. Just let me know what house type it is. Make sure I have visitor permission and maybe a little bit of backstory if you think it's relevant. Okay, so here we are going to go to Drop Stitch's Stay Moist Mansion, who has made something. Who has made some motor carriage. They say they have made a little car for exploring Cyrodiil. I've been going to lots of Drop Stitch's homes lately. They are very weirdly modest about everything. <laughs> but here they are. They're like, oh, you can include this or not. <laughs> I definitely want to include it. So we have a little car for exploring Cyrodiil. Seems like it's going to be... Break... Well, it looks like a bridge here. It looks like it could break that down. Or maybe it's just in a garage. No. Uh, so we have a huge, huge tank for Cyrodiil. A bit more of a modern look. I don't know. This... Feels like it could do some damage in Cyrodiil. New siege weaponry coming with Gates of Oblivion. Maybe not so much. I definitely like the metallic structure of this. So we have Sothasil up above, the Clockwork God. Maybe this is the sort of war equipment that he inspires <laughs> with all the metal, right? Not so much manpower, but machine power. It's amazing, it's amazing. Yeah, Drop Stitch is fantastic with making these sorts of mechanical creations. So, we have a tank. I love how they have the tread here. Using a lot of plating, you can get a lot of the pieces for these from the Brass Fortress Home Goods Furniture. They're really cheap from those. Uh, and then everything else is more expensive as far as crafted dwarven pipes and or some of these uh, different wall machinery pieces. Some of the, these are crown only. Some of them are craftable. Um, required dwarven frames and everything are kind of expensive in that sense have some of the more rare plans in the game furnishing plans but anyway let's focus on the design here the creativity amazing and i can even go up into it okay going in and we have a lovely seat here so you can get a good view of what you're doing and aim everything right uh, calibrate i mean you're you're in a shell here. You have to be able to be aware of your surroundings, so this is a pretty awesome way of doing this. We have bags for maybe some soldiers that would need to get out of here. And then we have the controls up here, too. Awesome use of the different clockwork furnishings to really add in a lot of details. Par they could be parachutes, yes, in case this suddenly becomes airborne. I don't think that makes any sense, but maybe. <laughs> maybe. Uh, uh, you can use your imagination what it's supposed to be. Yeah, so we have uh, packs and everything here. Um, and then one thing I really like about this, I didn't need to dress this up so much. Uh, but, you know, they have this lovely kind of clockwork mountain with a lot of the center piles and metallic rocks kind of embedded in here and lots of flowers and everything. Just makes this all, you know, the scenery looks pretty nice here. Um, you could have just put a tank out in the middle of nowhere, but you actually spent some time and consideration to make the rest of this look nice too. Um, putting like a magna geode in that sphere up above adds a little bit of detail. Backpack storage for the crew. Yeah, must have been military. They've done a lot of... Yeah, so drop stitch in our previous housing hikes. Yeah, and if you want to go check some of my previous YouTube VODs of those or pictures on my website, uh, it'd be awesome. You could subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out all of our previous housing hikes. I've, basically, I've been going to one of drop stitch's homes every week for the last while, on EU at least, and then all the pictures are up on my website at spicyeconomics.com. Thousands of pictures of ESO housing there. So, lovely, lovely little car to get around Cyrodiil. <laughs> A lot of details. And it's way too fun. Okay, and we'll continue along. We'll see five other houses as we continue through our housing hike. Thank you, Dropstitch. 
Next up. Gonna go to Hachiko Chan's. Love Hachiko Chan. Often enters my housing contest. I've been doing one or two housing contests every month, so those are always open to PCNA and PCEU. Hachiko Chan actually ended up being one of my top Crazy Kitchens contests for March. They had a lovely ramen stand. Tons of detail. So we'll see what they've done with their Hall of Lunar Champion. Okay, so they say it's in the Halls of Colossus, I believe. Mm, okay, we'll go explore. So, Hall of the Lunar Champion. Fantastic large home with the different wings that you can unlock by doing the Elsewhere main storyline. I think they just kind of wanted to structure, structure this in such a way that I could go to the proper wing. And it looks okay. Okay, exploring deep within a jungle. And it opens up. Ah, it is the... Up house. I've previously seen this before, but I can tell that they've made some changes to it. Maybe a little bit updated. So, it's up. Up. With all the details. Oh, you'll have to remind me of all the details. Like, there was a dog with a collar that allowed it to speak. I don't remember the name of the dog. But it, it ended up coming across a pack of other dogs. And... Anyway, Doug. It was Doug. That's right. So we have the up house. So old, old man lost, lost his lifelong companion and their dream was to go to the, the waterfall in like Venezuela and so South America somewhere. Um, and he, he kind of regretted that. So he tied a bunch of balloons to his house and wanted to make that dream a reality. So here we go. So we have enough balloons. Just enough balloons, of course. Just, a, just enough. We have the weather vane, all the details of the house, and we have Doug and the pack of pack of dogs here that they come across. And we have Kevin. Kevin, the <laughs> cassowary. I'm trying to think of what... It was a, an exotic exotic bird that they found in the jungle, right? Anyway, all the details, and it looks so very vibrant. Um, they've definitely um, done an a amazing job of just making the house look more bright, so just adding gold and things into the windows that they've added with the dressers, and looks fantastic. I like how it's raining. That's just coincidence here, but it works pretty well. Let me get some screenshots in the rain while we're here. I love it. Enough dogs to make the evil ones. Oh yeah, wasn't didn't that wasn't there like an evil pack leader? <laughs> uh, okay, the, the weather vane, the weather vane. Yeah, with a little ibis from the. I, I think that was from the luxury vendor at some point, and then just using like some hangers. Looks great, and we can go inside. Or oh, there's actually going to be details on the outside too. Notice a couple things like having the rocking chair and adding just a couple of the quality fabrics in there just makes it a little bit softer, a little bit more usable. And then inside, we're going to have more details. Ooh, custom mirror. Ooh, I really, I really like the way that they've done this customized with a couple of painting frames, and then putting that solitude mirror in the middle. A lot of, a lot of custom features on this. So this is what I love about housing is you can get real creative with how you mix different furnishings together because everything can overlap infinitely um, which is amazing amazing untapped potential here it's tapped a little bit um, so we have like a record player or some, something like that music player and we have you know custom lamp using a wicker and like an incense down below perfect all these little details love love the creativity on these things Beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna get more picture. Victrola is the name. Okay, is that, is that right? Okay, good deal, good deal. More custom lamps inside. We have a refrigerator. Ooh, I really like how they've done this. You know, just using some book, the ends of some books to add the little handles there and all the details. Tons of details. So this would be a little bit of more of an old styling of a house, right? Because they grew old and didn't really modernize very much. 
so anything that's here would be you know, at least several decades old for the most part. Um, so we have like a coffee maker. Well, I like how they've done the coffee maker. I think they used a condenser. A custom stove, all the details. Using goblets and things like that for the, the buttons. You know, sinking some incense down into that pie so that it has steam coming out of it, makes it look nice and fresh. The fridge, yeah, the fridge, and we have. Not quite sure what this is supposed to represent. It could be, could be a coffee grinder, or I don't know. No, make more something else. It's toast as a toaster. It it might be a toaster. A radio? It's a radio. Oh, could be a. <laughs> it's a radio. Oh, no, oh, no, it's a radio. The radio makes sense. Yeah, because you have the these little calipers, and those would be like the station that you're on. Okay, creative, super creative. I think it's definitely a radio then. And you have little buttons to adjust which uh, channel channel you're on, the frequency, right? I, it's definitely a radio. Okay, okay. It suddenly, just clicks, right? So many details. Just taking it all in. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. It's like a kind of smaller home. And we have a study over this way. Pretty impressive look on all this. Now, I see, I think these are supposed to be where all the balloons are tied down to, because all the balloons kind of came out of the fireplace. So I think these are the ends of the strings for the, <laughs> for the balloons. And you can even steer it. Steer the house. Amazing, amazing details. That's the end. Is there a second floor? I'm trying to remember. Oh, there is. Okay. More custom creations up here, like a sofa. You know, angling the beds together. Kind of putting pillows and everything to kind of tie up the seams. And just looks fantastic. And we have an old school TV, small small little boxy TV. So they've, they've done a clever thing with this. Is they've added, I think that's what it's supposed to be, right? Um, they've added the Reaper's March antiquity mirror. And so that has some movement going on with the clouds. And so yeah, it looks like they're watching like something here. Okay, good good details on all this. Here's some water. There's probably going to be a bathroom somewhere. Okay, here we go. I have a bath. Perfect, perfect. Which house is this? This is a Hall of the Lunar Champion by Hachiko Chan. So this has actually all been done up from scratch. Digger Cran, why the follow? Thank you. Welcome to our EU housing hike. Getting some inspiration right now as we visit Hachiko Chan's Hall of the Lunar Champion, who has made an up house. Ooh, details on these things. It would be a washing machine? It looks like a washing machine of some sort, right? With the fabrics there? Like a front-loading washer? Tell me I'm crazy. Tell me I'm crazy. Okay, maybe... Okay, it looks... Oh, Hachiko Chen is here. Okay, perfect. I didn't know you were here. It's a washing machine. And then... Ooh, what is that? This is just like a candle that's kind of been burned down, maybe? I think that's what it's supposed to represent. Yeah, I, I like how you're just using like the top of the vase. It has a kind of more intricate design going on with that, and then you can kind of sink it down. Okay, soap. Oh, it's soap. Ivory for the soap. Okay, it doesn't have a wick, so that makes more sense. <laughs> you have to kind of use your imagination, because people are always using different furnishings to represent different, more modern things. And so you have to kind of think outside the box on this and give maybe benefit of the doubt. Okay, soap. Soap. So it's a bit more... Oh, this is not... I was thinking soap for the washing machine, but no, soap for the sink here, so you can actually wash up. Okay, good deal. I'm getting things wrong all over the place. Perfect. I like the custom uh, wick, wick, wicker's perfect. I don't know. It's a lot of wicker baskets, like eight different types were added with solitude. So I love seeing them here being incorporated into these designs. <laughs> Yeah, all these details. Probably hard to pick out furnishings that work well with it all. 
And then we have a bedroom over this way. Chico Chan says, details is what turns you crazy in housing. <laughs> yeah, that's why I always like to focus on, though, is the creativity and the originality and how you can come up with these amazing designs. Yeah, Chico Chan is fantastic. Incredible details on everything. Ooh, I love this bedroom. It's just, like, very well balanced. I'll have to come back through and get more screenshots afterwards, but... Yes! Perfect. I think that'll be all the rooms. Thank you, Hachiko-chan. Ba-ba-ba. Wall with bricks. Uh, probably elsewhere. Um... Elsewhere wall. Yep. Yeah, there's, like, a lot of details here, too. Just, like, even using, like, various tabletops and things just to add structure to these... To the building like everything is framed like there's there's the skeleton of the house and then making the rooms and then adding the you know carpets and the flooring and the pictures and then all the furnishings in it and just making it really work well and the creativity you know is is what i i really glom on to the most which is not just plunking down any old furnishing but making a custom furnishing. I really like the custom designs on these, and so Hachiko Chan has done an amazing job with this. And I think that will be it. So, um, let me go maybe back just so you can take in a far away view of it. What is really impressive about this house is not just the, you know, the outside with the, you know, the visual of that, but, you know, just... Because if it were just this, if it were just this, like, being able to be like, oh, it's a, it's a house from up, and it's recognizable, just like as a two-dimensional type of a thing. But then everything inside is like three-dimensional and functional, it make, makes it all the more impressive, especially given the item limits. Um, <laughs> 700 out of 700. That's kind of a, the thing with that. Okay, nicely well done. Yes, yes, thank you everybody. Thank you everybody in Twitch. They are enjoying it immensely. I am enjoying it. Be sure to emote more <laughs> when you like things. Okay. Hachiko Chen says, thank you, everyone. Happy you enjoyed the tour. Thank you, thank you. And we'll get out of here. Move on to more, more homes. Custom build. Hachiko Chen says, thank you, Jay Hart, for the visit. Thank you, thank you. Trinzi says, love your work, Hachiko. Okay, so next up we have Salvatore's Gorner Estate. They have a place for a Breton scholar, so a little bit more ESO-centric. So we go from like a mechanical thing to a livable space that's very more modern and custom, and then we will have something a bit more like a character-driven home, like a Breton scholar. And where do they live? Adding a lot of hedges and flowers and everything just gives us a very nice soft, well-maintained look. Ooh, I have multiple paths. Ooh, which way to go? I'll go this way first. Oh, is that, is that the homeowner? It is! Salvatore is here. We don't want to mess up all of your s sand here. A lovely place. Is that your Breton? Mm, maybe. I don't think so, though. I got to ask. Maybe, maybe they are. Are you the Breton scholar? Or maybe they just want to be here. Mm, maybe. <laughs> maybe they're a visitor. Lovely, lovely. The architect. Ah, okay, okay. We have the architect of the home. Hired by the Breton scholar then. Okay. <laughs> The Breton is away. Good. That we, me, means we can uh, explore this place. <laughs> Perfect. Let's see. You don't look like a Breton scholar. Okay. We have a love. I like. I like how they have this. Uh, we have all of the everlasting waterfalls. So, if your home does not come with water features, there 
is at least one achievement furnishing, the small everlasting waterfall from Somerset, that you can add your own water features into it. Um, so they've just used multiple of those together. I really like how they place the rocks around it to give it a bit more of a natural feel to it. And adding the lighting and adding all the mossy trees and rocks and everything in there just makes it look very, very pretty. <laughs> right? um, and lovely places to come and maybe meditate out here. Beautiful views, beautiful scenery, and it looks like there's a custom structure here too. Relaxing and lovely spot. I know, I know. Okay, and then the Breton Scholar has a scholarly tower. Let's get up into here. It must like nature. Oh, I see. it is like a tower, so it's like it's going to circle around and it has different rooms off to the sides. So this whole thing has been built up from scratch, then. This isn't the interior of any home or anything. All the walls, all the floors, all the ceilings have been added. So we have a bath. Love the Tavani shelves. And using an alien gates around here just to give it a kind of a windowed, somewhat private, but not too claustrophobic type of a feel. I like the rounded architecture, too. Continuing up the tower, we have a kitchen. All the spices. Again, just kind of using the uh, gates here to make this rounded structure. So you get a good view of everything from up here. Okay. Very well designed. Then we have a fireplace a bit higher up. This has a very nice, warm, cozy feel to it. And keeping with a lot of the Tavani furnishings throughout this, and a lot of plants even inside of the tower, just seems to show some sort of an appreciation for nature, so they, they seem to uh, have captured a bit of their character in this, right? Okay, lovely, lovely. And more rooms up above. Oh, they, they seem to really like their... <laughs> I really like the plants. Those mushrooms growing all over the bed. Maybe a very fantastical feel to it. Books everywhere. Books and mushrooms. I like how I say that, and then there's more of it with the Tavani furnishings and the plants. Kind of continues the theme. Feels very cohesive. I like cohesive builds. And then up and up and up. Oh, I don't want to fall at this point. We have, oh, the scholarly work here. So we have a study desk, everything up at the top. And then, so they've, they've used like a orcish gazebo and then they've kind of used that as a structure here with the roof. And then they've added a lot of their own custom details with the bookcases or the desk and everything that they might be studying here. And a bit of a magical element. They have Mage's Guild banners, for instance, or the orbs and everything blue and magical and just kind of continues the theme no plants up here they get serious up here which is interesting okay what a lovely tower i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna fall oh no ow oh okay i think i saw everything thank you Savater. I shall come and... Do I have things quick slotted? I don't have all my things quick slotted. Hmm. Thank you again. Thank you again. Okay. And... Oh, I got some sort of notification, but didn't show up. Thank you. Thank you, whoever. <laughs> With a notification. Um. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm addicted with grates for windows. Oh, the alien works well for that. Or these, um, the clockwork ones work well, too. Yes. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, they say. Oh, thank you. And we'll continue along with the housing hike. So, lots of different styles that we've seen today. All the love, all the love. Mo. No. Ba, 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 ba. Continuing along, we have Yummy J, Sister to the Sands. Ooh, they say it'll 
something I should not miss here. I'll have to try not to miss it. Okay, here we go. Taquero with some hype. Perfect, perfect. Neat way to do a tower. Ooh, fun. <laughs> like the, all the hair coming down. So we have a tree person. They say we have nomadic tree inhabitants. They are travelers. I see. So they have a camp here. I love the big, like, nose and everything. Maybe I can relate. Um, with the eyes. I think they just have, the, like, wedding blossoms kind of sunk in there. And then just kind of building off of that to make this amazing old tree face. Tree beard or Groot or Ent. Could be something like that. Um, I think it's kind of its own unique thing here. And then using things like bramble bushes and everything for all the hair. Um, it's fun. And then... They even have their arms kind of wrapping around here. Then they say there's even more. Let's look up. And look up we will. We have a lot of lights. Is that like a festive hat? Oh, I see, I see. We have the moon up above with the moonlight coming down. It looks like a cityscape. Yeah, so using the lanterns, they look like... Like towers, like magical towers with little buildings kind of incorporated throughout here. So we have, yeah, so we have the moon kind of overlooking an elvish city. It's totally different. It maybe adds a little bit of an interesting kind of world building element to this too. Maybe it's kind of like the world is kind of resting on them. So using uh, black boulders and everything to give a nice night sky look. They do have these little moonlit covine with a little blue specks there. Kind of give it a more starry type of a look. And then adding lots of things like the uh, Tavani lanterns and everything. And the sconces just for the blue lights from this kind of magical city. So it's very whimsical. Very... M mystical, I would maybe say. Beautiful, beautiful. I can kind of imagine these all being little cities. And then we have this down below. And not using a ton of items for this. This is only 90 items to make a scene. And it's pretty fun. So it's like he has a whole city up on top of him. <laughs> yeah, it's such a little space too. And that's, I think, going to pretty well be it. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Don't want to get too dizzy here. Okay, we'll keep going along. Thank you, thank you so much, Yummy J. Next up, we have Lavathi. Wraith Home. Yep, I have maybe a little bit of backstory on this one. It's been a while since I've gone to a Lavathi home. Always a treat. Okay, they say, King for one day. The small ones watch the Queen's Gambit, and now they know chess. King and Queen Endgame is displayed here. And they say that there might be a pathing thing going on. Ooh, they are here. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Lavathi is here. Is gonna, I think, start some character pathing. We have the little griffin. Wait, I have a little griffin. Little griffin? Little griffin. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> okay. We are gonna follow. Where are we going? We're in the Wraith home, but it doesn't feel like that. They totally changed the, all of the walls and everything here. Some sort of a magical blue mushroom path. Hmm, what, where are we going? I better try to follow. Oh no, I got lost already. Help me. <laughs> okay, ooh, opening up into a crystal cave. Amazing. The reveal on this is just incredible. It's so bright. Mushrooms everywhere. Kind of like reflecting the starlight from above. I guess I just keep following the path here. Oh, and then this is really their build. Not a, a fantastic cave, but this is the cave. Oh, so we have... Okay, so so I don't know... It's been a while on chess. I don't know specific... I'm not a chess player. Uh, we would have the white king and the black king and the white queen is so this would be the queen's gambit uh, the, the only problem is i don't know whose turn it is <laughs> i guess it would have to be 
white just moved, right? Because I don't know how else that would make sense. And this, what? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, here, here we go. Oh, they're moving, they're moving. Here goes the Black King. They can only move one space at a time. Here's the lead up for it. Here's the lead up for it. And the the Queen's Gambit ends up... Who who wins in that case? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, I had to see. Who 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 ends up being in check? Where's that a stalemate? Oh, oh, you're going, you're going. There's, okay, so Levathi has used some essential housing tools programming here to make all this work. Okay, they're locking the king into the corner here. Oh no, oh no. Well, somebody who knows chess better, fill me in. <laughs> fill me in. Um, okay, black's kind of stuck. They only have one piece. And white is not being very aggressive with it. Is this supposed to be the queen then? Because the queen can attack, like, Pretty well, all the directions. Mm, mm, go, Griffin, go. Yo, backed in the corner. Oh, 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 and that will be checkmate. Or is that, that's, that wouldn't be a huge mistake on White's part, would it be? Because now Black can take, I see. Black can take the queen, but that would put them in check, so they can't do that. And black can't move into a, either of the other direction, so black has lost. Yes? White wins. Okay. I would hope white would win with a queen out. <laughs> okay. Good. Good, good, good. Queen can move any direction, any distance. Queen Gambit is about sacrificing the queen for the win. That's right. So th in this case, black could take the queen, but they can't. Okay. And then we have more going on here, too. Wait, what else did you add? Okay, we have... A dragon? Is it a dragon? It's a, it looks like a guar face, kind of. Guar? Is it a griffin? Is it a flaming griffin? Or is it a dragon? Maybe it looks more like a dragon. Using the undaunted trophies for all of these. They all have that... They're, I guess they're the busts. To make a dragon. Save J Heart. <laughs> Wizard Chess. Oh, yeah. Here, here. Um, suddenly, Rook comes out of nowhere <laughs> and takes the queen. I don't know. Stop, stop. Okay, I've saved you, Black. Black Indrick here. Monster of many parts. Yeah, it's fun. I, I think it's supposed to be a dragon of some sort. It seems like it's taking care of its little moo baby or something. Oh, 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 cute, cute, cute. <laughs> I might be dinner. I, I might I might be dinner here. I'm not so sure. Love, Athi. Thank you for your consideration. I super appreciate it. All the love, all the love. <laughs> okay, way too fun, way too fun. I like how you have this all set up, too. It's very obvious what it is, and then, you know, the little pets are just perfect little sizes for these, too, right? Lavathi, you are incredible. Thank you, thank you. Use the comet for this. A comet from the alien crown crates. I, I've i seen more and more people using these. I like it. It's cause it looks like light spilling into the cave here. Looks beautiful. Okay. I shall moo at ya, moo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All the colors. I should probably get a screenshot while they're all set up here. Maybe, maybe it'll work. Oh no, Hendrick. Hendrick's <laughs> walking the wrong way now. That's fine. Oh, they're going back. They're going back. They're going. Oh, they're they're reverting. That's <laughs> fine. All good, all good. Okay, thank you, thank you. We'll continue along. We have a couple... We have one more house. Just one more. Just one more house. And then we'll wrap up for PCEU. These have been so fun so far. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Amazing creativity. And things like on that one, using add-ons like essential housing tools so that you can kind of program in different furnishing movements. So that's awesome. Okay, we have... I don't think that was just character pathing. 
Maybe it was. I think it would have been a scene from Essential Housing Tools. Maybe, maybe you're maybe you're here. Okay, Palm says it's gonna be the last one. Oh, they have a lot of people here. Beautiful, beautiful. Green love with some hype, hypage. Beautiful. Palimpsest has La Loco. I believe I believe Palimpsest is French. We're on EU, so we have a train station. I took French in high school, and I made I made a joke. We're, we're actually I was trying to figure out which house it was, and. They said, "Oh, it's it's La Loco," and I was like, "Oh, what what does a what does a French train say?" And this was me reverting back to my high school French, and I said, "And I don't know if this is offensive." I said, "Choo choo di, choo choo da," <laughs> and if anybody gets that, then maybe you also took French in high school. Anyway, we we learned a we learned a song in a high in. High school for French, which was Le Coque More. Il ne dira plus coque di coque da. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Uh, not to distract too much from the amazing train that they have here. So we have a train. Coco. Coco? No, Choo Choo. Choo Choo. Ooh, it has like little <laughs> things riding along the rail here. Okay, amazing, amazing detail. I know I like my French joke. That's fine. Probably it was offensive. That's fine. Amazing, huge train. It's ginormous. Using so many of these boilers here. So many display cases. Yeah, so they've made a lovely... Oh, they have, like, crystals instead of coal in the back. That's kind of cool. Can I get in it? I kind of want to get in it. And yeah, they're all, all the guildies. Oh, and look at, like, the train station. Where is it going to go? Oh, somebody got run over. <laughs> oh. Uh, maybe they just fell asleep. Uh-oh. Oh, it goes right into the lava. Um, it might be a one-way trip. Maybe it's a magical plane. It goes, woo. <laughs> huge underground station. Yeah, it is a huge underground station. With the light just coming in through the, the top there. I love that. Can I get in it? No. Wait, maybe I can. I'm going to try to sneak inside. I need mad hops. I need mad hops. There we go. Perfect. I snuck in. Oh, there's a lot of details inside. Using the clockwork stargazer. No, surveyor. No, stargazer telescope. I have the controls here. Can I get up in? Mmm. And, oh yeah, so it's just like a little private train <laughs> for one. There's a bedroom and a bath here. Very fancy. Somebody asks if you want the sleeper car, and you're like, oh yeah. Oh, and <laughs> then you get the bill. No, it's, um, yeah, all the display cases. It makes us look fantastic. Red guard wind fence for the ladder there. Yeah, very fancy inside. Uh, uh, let's see. I just really especially love how the station itself is set up. It has this very kind of professional feel to it. Well, well constructed here. I'm very open. Like, you know, it'd have to be able to have a train go through it. So can't have any uh, support beams or anything through here. So it just has to have a big open cave. And maybe you were uh, transporting some goods. Maybe we're trying to transport some animals and things here, too. Okay. Amazing, amazing. And the train. And all the details. And all the people. And I shall say thank you. Wait, wait, wait. There's more. There's more going on. That's going to go nowhere, right? Oh, it's me. Oh, I got squished by the door. <laughs> wait. Huh, it's my N.A. character. <laughs> I don't know what to make of that. It's me! In the future. Like, looking in the mirror, almost. 
can go get some bits of eel or whatever. You know, nice nice food while you wait for your your train to come through. I got squished by the door. Alternate reality through the door. It makes sense. It's weird being here on EU sometimes. Now, let me get some screenshots while all the people are here because it super makes us feel more full and awesome. Train station with all the awesome architecture and the train and all the light up above. All the good stuff. That's where they put an A. <laughs> I like the busyness of it all, too, with all the storage and the chests and everything. Just all these amazing, amazing details. Absolutely incredible, Palimpsest. Don't want to go out into the cold world there. I just want to stay here where it all looks nice. So they've used like a fabrication tank there, or maybe a vampiric one, in order to uh, have that red light on the, the front there. That's a cool design too. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. So much creativity. Thank you again. They <laughs> have all the trunks on the top. Makes sense. Okay, I shall come and say thank you. Thank you all. Thank you all. They say Cat Family. Loves to hear Ellis. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yes, yeah, Cat Family Guild on PCEU. Do a lot of role playing and have some fun with it. And I really appreciate them. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Thank you all the hype for ya. Beautiful, beautiful. And we'll wrap up here. That will be all six houses for today's PCEU housing hike. I'll get screenshots for my website. And if you're watching on the VOD, if you could please subscribe on YouTube, that would be fantastic. And thank you, everybody, that was here doing the live stream in Twitch. Thank you. We'll be wrapping up here and doing some giveaways. So, oh, no. <laughs> it's a little bit dangerous. Short-circuiting. Uh-oh. So, have fun with housing. Oh, I want to thank everybody very quickly. Oh, um... Want to thank Dropstitch with the little car, the tank for Cyrodiil. We had a Chico Chan with the up house. We had Salvatore with the home for the Breton Scholar, the tower. We had Yummy J with the tree and with the elvish city up above. And then we had uh, Levathi with the chess match, which is awesome. And Palimpsest here with La Coco. La Loco. <laughs> La Loco. Beautiful. The train, the train, the locomotive on PCEU. Perfect. Oh, everybody's here. Everybody's gonna get run over. Oh, no. Okay, thank you again, and have fun with housing. Have fun with ESO, and stay spicy. Boop.